Hello guys, in this video we're gonna see what is polymorphism and how to implement it in TypeScript. So by definition, polymorphism is when we have multiple classes that have the same method but a different implementation of that method. And the polymorphism makes use of inheritance. Let's go ahead and see it into action. Let's say we have a class called animal. And this class has one method called make sound. The body of that function is console.log animal sound let's go ahead and create another class which is dog this time which inherits from animal so in typescript we say extends and then the base class name so if you take a look here we have a different class a second class which is called dog which extends which inherits from animal so animal here is a base class and dog is a child class whenever we have an inheritance the class that is inheriting from the base class inherits all of its methods and properties. So let's say here we had a property called name, which is of type string. Dog also would have a property called name. Let's go ahead and copy paste this function right now. So as you can see, we have the same method, but here let's change the implementation. So instead of animal sound, let's say bark. I'm gonna go ahead and create a third class. I'm gonna call it cat, which also inherits from animal. So it also has the make sound by inheritance, the make sound method. But again, let's change the uh, implementation. So let's say meow. If you, if you take a look at what we have so far, we have three different classes. Animal being the base class, which has the method make sound. Dog and cat are child classes that inherit from animal as well. So they, in they inherit the make sound method. But if we take a look at the method implementation, as we can see, Every single one of these three classes have a different implementation. Here we have animal sound, here we have bark, and here we have meow. Let's see polymorphism into action. Let's say in our program we have some function called make animal sound. And this function takes one parameter, I'm gonna call the variable animal, and then which is of type animal, this class. So of course we have access to this method right here. So here I can call, I can call the make sound method on the animal instance now usually what we do is let's say we have let animal equal new animal so i'm creating an instance of that class let's now call this function our pro in our program make animal sound and the animal that i'm gonna pass is animal of course here we could have called it anything else like animal one for example if i run the program As you can see, it printed animal sound, which is this. Now let's say we had another animal. Let's say animal2, for example, equal new dog this time. So we created an instance of the dog class. Let's say instead of animal1, I'm going to pass in animal2 as the argument and run the program. As you can see in the console, now we have printed bark. So if you take a look here, if you take a look at the class dog, the make sound implementation prints bark. Although here in this function, our program, we do not know which type we are actually invoking. We just know that it should at least inherit from animal or it should be animal. Now let's do this again. Let's say let animal three, or we can call it cat if you want, equal new cat. And also let's this time call the same function, but pass in the cat. So I'm going to save to run the program again. And as you can see, we have printed meow. So here in this function, we're just saying that the parameter is of a type animal, which is the base class. And every class that inherits that base class, of course, they inherit the properties and the methods that they have. But since we have a different implementation, we have a different behavior. As you can see, whenever we call this and we pass in a different type. So the first time we had animal sound, the second time we had bark, and the third time we had meow. So we have the same method, but different behaviors, depending on the type of the class that inherits from the base class. Now, let's say we don't have the make sound implementation here. We just have an empty class, which inherits from animal. Of course, we have the make sound class inherited from animal, but we did not change the implementation. So the default implementation, the default behavior is going to be executed. So now when we call 
the make animal sound on cat I'm gonna go ahead and save again as you can see it called the animal sound which is the method the main the default implementation in the base class animal since we don't have a different one so to conclude we have seen how in polymorphism we have a single action which is make sound but that has different behaviors and does the same action in three different ways based based on the object that we are sending so when we are sending a normal animal it's executing the default make sound implementation when we are sending a dog or a cat it is executing the implementation of that specific object of the class thank you for watching if this video was helpful please leave a like and subscribe and if you have any other notions or concepts that you would like to know please leave a comment and i'll make a video about it thank you and see you next time